Hey everyone, we're the Urban Legend Hunters. And today, we're gonna find some lost gold. Let's go! Woo! No. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ever since I was a little kid, Shay has always tried to get me. I just know this is a trap. He's always doing things like this. He hides in my closet. He hides under my bed. He turns all my lights off when I get home at night. I can't take it. I, I can't take it. I knew it was a trap. I knew it. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Go. <laughs> oh man, he falls for that every time. It's just too good. His reactions are priceless. That's the whole reason I do it, you know? Just to get a reaction out of him. It scares the living daylights out of him every single time. Every single time. Priceless. <laughs> He's so upset. Why would you even do that? What was even the point of that? I don't really know. Anyway, dude, I found a way we can strike it rich. Right here in our hometown. Uh, what? Dude, the Lost Dutchman's gold mine. It's never been found. What? How is this related to anything? It's not, but we can be richer than our wildest dreams, okay? We are gonna be richer than our wildest dreams. Thousands of people have searched for this mine and haven't found anything. What makes you think we're gonna find There's it? There's treasure buried there somewhere and we're gonna find it. Shay has always had an obsession with gold. Not money, gold. Like one time we got him a book about financial peace and he just used it as a doorstop. He's like, this isn't gold. Like, come on. Went on Ancestry.com once and Turns out my ancestors were gold miners. I guess that explains why I just get such a rush every time I see gold. Like, everywhere I see gold, I just love it. It's my favorite color. See? Gold. We're supposed to be hunting monsters, dude. This isn't a monster. It's just a hole in the ground. How are we supposed to hunt monsters if we don't have any money? Look at our budget. We spend $7,500 a week on Starbucks. <sighs> okay, fine. Fine, have it your way. But if you're wrong, you have to go to Scotland with me to help me find Nessie. Deal. You know, do I think that we'll actually find gold? No. But this gets me to Scotland somehow, so might as well go. Honestly, I don't even know where Scotland is. Dude, while we're in Scotland, we are definitely catching Nessie. We're gonna get all kinds of scuba gear we're gonna swim down there and we're gonna see her with our own eyes and we're definitely catching her. Like, scuba gear is not that expensive, right? Well, it is pretty expensive, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna find this gold and once we do, we'll be able to pay for 30 trips to Scotland. Why would we pay for 30 trips to Scotland? Because that's what filthy rich people do and after we find this lost gold, we're gonna be filthy rich. Oh no, not here. Don't worry. Everybody thinks the Lost Dutchman's gold mine is in the Superstition Mountains, but it's not. I read a sub article on Wikipedia that says it's right here in this field. How convincing. Do you feel that wind? That's the wind of change. We're about to get filthy rich. You know, I'm starting to think that there might actually be gold. Then again, maybe not. Now keep your eyes open for anything that might alert us to danger. Like that? Holy Toledo. We've hit the mother load! Hey, Shay, what are you doing? Gold's way over there. I heard this crazy method online that says you have to dig a mile away from the gold so you can tunnel under it and smell it first. What? Good gravy. I smell gold. So, Shay was really convinced they had found some gold, 
but right before he could get to it, we heard a pack of coyotes. So we just bolted. Shay tried to climb this fence, but it turns out it was a really electrifying fence. So, uh, yeah. But while we were running back to the car, we did find these. 